In this video, we're going to be learning how to use the DV Prompter Plus app built into Data Video Teleprompter kits with this smart monitor. Those kits are the TP700, TP800, and the Data Video TP900 teleprompter made for PTZ cameras right here. If you have a Data Video Teleprompter system, power it on and follow along. And if you don't have one, grab a coffee and stick around to see all the features of the DV Prompter Plus app. I'm actually using a second Data Video Teleprompter feeding from my primary prompter on the table here to do all of the hosting in front of the camera for this video, controlling both prompters from my laptop. First, let's take a quick tour of the smart monitor's hardware. It is a 15 inch screen. There is a red power button on the front of the unit for powering the unit on and off. On the back of the monitor, you'll see there's a V-mount plate for independently powering your data video teleprompter. There is an HDMI input for playing in a video source directly into the monitor, power, two USB ports for your mouse and external devices, like presentation remotes, jog shuttles, and foot pedals, which are all sold separately. There is an ethernet port for connecting to an IP network. Next, there is an HDMI output. You could use this to daisy chain up to three data video teleprompters together. You can also play the HDMI out to any screen as an additional teleprompter. Next, there is a micro SD card for firmware updates. And lastly, there is a headphone jack. Uh, this is a 3.5 millimeter output. This smart monitor is actually powered by Android and the Google Chrome browser in the home screen functions. You can browse the internet and even watch some YouTube videos. Next, we are going to connect the teleprompter to a network so we can access all of its features, import scripts, and create slideshows through the UI. So let's connect an ethernet cable to the ethernet port on the unit. Connect the USB mouse that came with your data video teleprompter. There we go. And then finally, you could plug in your power supply. All right, now that's all ready. Let's get the monitor and press the red power button to turn it on. When your data video prompter boots up, it's gonna be on the home screen for the DV Prompter Plus app. Let's right click to go to our home screen here. And then we're going to go to the settings icon. Click on the settings icon. And then under wireless and networks, click on more. Under Ethernet, let's go there and then click on Ethernet IP mode. Make sure that dynamic IP, the DHCP mode is selected. Let's press it again. There we go. And then right click four times to go back to the home screen. Then let's go to the DV Prompter Plus app once again. And click on Network. You should see an IP address and a web UI address populated on the screen. If you don't, make sure that the Ethernet cable is plugged in securely into your data video teleprompter and then your Ethernet router or your Ethernet port in the wall for your network has a secure connection as well. Now we can type this web UI address into the internet browser of the computer that we're gonna be using to access the web UI. I'm going to use my laptop. Type the IP address into your internet browser. It's best to access the web UI using the Google Chrome browser. So a quick tour. So the home button will always take you home to this front screen where you can find all your scripts and slideshows. The settings tab is where you're going to be able to change your font, change your font size, line height. You could customize your font colors. You can customize your font background. This will mirror the input of your HDMI in so it displays on the teleprompter properly. You can set to landscape or portrait mode. You could set whether or not you want to mirror your display. A mirrored display will process the teleprompter backwards so that it is facing the correct way. It'll look normal for the talent. You could set here to loop your scripts. You could adjust your scrolling speed live in the settings tab while the DV prompter is playing a script. If you're operating from the web UI, you could also do speed adjustment steps here. We have your Q markers, Q background color. This external display setting is for when you want to use the DV prompter plus app monitor as a computer, basically, and you could output your HDMI signal to an external display and power that as a teleprompter, controlling it from the data video teleprompter monitor. 
We can set a border. We can have timers. We can have an auto start on startup. We could have a start delay. This will open the HDMI input immediately upon boot up. If you want to use the data video teleprompter as only a monitor. This is what the code will be for your brake markers. You could make it anything you want. Let's stick with the default. This is for setting up your data video remote control. Any presentation remote will work by plugging it into the white USB input on the data video teleprompter monitor rear. Here you can enable hotkeys, which will enable you to control your scripts and slideshows, just like if you're clicking on the buttons on the sidebar here. The help button will open up a download link for the manual. And here's the manual for the DV Prompter Plus app. Anything in detail we don't go over here, you can learn in the manual. Next, we want to do multiple scripts, right? So let's go ahead and pause our script here. And let's go to the edit icon in one of our scripts that we created. So when you're editing a script, you could add it into the playlist. So see, I can click Add to Playlist, and my teleprompter tutorial script pops up. And I can put this as first or second. And then we have this Keep HDMI In on the Playlist icon. So what we'll do is we'll click that, and then that's how we enable our HDMI In to be in the middle of our presentation. And then all you need to do is click uh, the Skip Forward button or one of the buttons with this playhead and it'll advance from the HDMI in, which is your external HDMI device coming into your teleprompter, uh, back out to the next script in the playlist. And then whenever you play a script that's in the playlist, it'll start from that point in the playlist, and then it'll play the next script and the next script and the next script in an automated way. To create a script, just click on the plus button on the bottom and then click on the text icon. And in here we could create a new script, and we could compose it here, or we could simply copy and paste it. So we can say, this is my presentation. And then we'll add a break marker here. And you can use the skip forward and back buttons to come back to a break marker. So if you put a break marker, say at the beginning of your presentation, and we format it just like this, And then we can have a lot of text in between. We can go to our outro. And there's different ways you can code things. Um, I like to simply put bold text as a direction for talent or just like a note, and then leave regular, you know, a regular font as what you're supposed to read. And of course, you can customize this into anything that you want. And you click Save add into playlist, and there's our new script. We can start with the new script. To create a slide show in the DV Prompter Plus app, press on the plus button, and then press on slides. Here we can give our slideshow a title. And then you can press the plus button to go into a directory for your computer. If your slides are in a PowerPoint presentation, go ahead and go to your PowerPoint presentation Make sure your slides are ready to go and you only have the slides here that you want to have in your presentation. And then go to File. And then you'll want to Export. And then you're going to save them as JPEGs. And make sure you export every slide or just the current slide that you want to export for your slideshow. And we're going to put them in a folder and then we're going to import them from that folder into the DV Prompter Plus application. So let's just call this presentation one. Each slide in the presentation has been saved as a separate file. That's great. Here's this folder. Let's import all the slides. And here they are in the presentation. Fit image to width or height. This will decide whether to stretch the image width or height to meet the aspect ratio of your teleprompter monitor. Your teleprompter is four by three aspect ratio as opposed to 16 by nine, which is what uh, most of your media is probably already formatted in. 
Press on the save icon to save your slideshow. And then if you want to add it into the playlist, you can go ahead and do that as well. This video covered the basics of the DV Prompter Plus app. We have links to more resources in the description below to help you with your data video productions. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn to connect with us and see everything new from data video. Subscribe to us here on YouTube, of course, and thanks for watching.